YouTube, what the crap's going on? Era of Carthage here. I'm gonna jump into some more Total War Warhammer 2 online action. I'm gonna pick the green skins. We're gonna have a little fun here. Let's get Wurzag. Um, probably gonna put him on his boar. Energy to get. And here we really don't need much. I think this will be about it. I'm going to do a sin here and put him on his boar. I know it means he can't be dancing, but... Charge. Okay. All right, let's get our infantry line here. I'm going to use these Savage Biggins. I'm going to try and demonstrate something that I've seen players do rather successfully. Mangy Marauders. So I don't have a ton of infantry. It's going to be relatively strong infantry. And what we're going to try and do here is we're going to try and support um, our infantry line with um, kind of a non-stop, here we go, Wah and Fist of Gork. And our goal is going to be to just absolutely melt the enemy line so quickly and so decisively that there's very little else that they can do. So we'll see whether or not it works. That's going to be our objective. Let's give it a shot here. The green skins definitely got a little bit stronger in the last patch. I need to go back and reread all the notes on them. But I've noticed that um, they seem to have gained a little steam. I guess I went ahead and readied up. I should have made sure my opponent was ready. My bad. But we'll go ahead and jump into this. So yeah, again, the army here is all about the uh, Savage Biggins getting insane buffs from the leadership, hacking their way through any infantry line very, very quickly. I've actually had this similar thing work against me, and I kid you not, these savage biggins just ripped their way through Swordmasters of Hoeth. It wasn't even close. The savage biggins soundly defeated them. A little less than half of their uh, health left. I hope my opponent's army's ready. There he goes. I took a minute to pick mine, so I just assumed that he had time, but I probably shouldn't assume that. But yeah. Anyway, it's the Savage Biggins just destroyed Swordmasters of Hoeth, which was something that I'd never seen before. Maybe it was possible before, but seems like it's probably a result of the patch and someone taking advantage of some changes in the patch. Get my scroll speed up a little bit here so I can cruise around the battlefield quicker. Less cinematic, but easier to do what I need to do. Come on, man, load in. 
this map should work pretty well with what we want. It's a pretty close engagement zone, which means we'll be able to get into the fight really quickly. And we start off with 20 wins of magic, which should be more than sufficient for what I need. Opponent's a bit slow to load in. That's okay, here we go. A pretty straightforward infantry stomp is what I'm hoping for. Let's actually keep these guys a good ways back. Riders over here. All right, let's do this. Let's go. Let's bash and trash Norska. Oh yeah, we should be able to do this. What we got here, Famir warriors. Yeah, that front line is gonna fall apart quick. I feel pretty confident about that. Get these guys up close. Should crush that infantry line pretty quickly. Not sure what he's doing back here. Start taking out. Let's get some more magic in for the boys. Okay, Wolfric's taking off. Five. Not sure what my opponent just did. Did a weird click here though. A lot of his units disengaged. Took out one of the ice wolves. Skip the other one. Keep shooting javelins. Get out of the way of the ship. Yep, we did pretty quickly crush through his infantry. And now we should be in a good place in life. Five. Catch all this stuff back here. Yeah, bust it through. And let's see. Our magic's used up there, so let's go to over to our orc shaman. Here we go. Let's buff our guys up again. Get over here. Managed to take these guys out. Wolfric is busy. Up, up leadership. This is pretty much over at this point. If Wolfric's gonna run away, let's just let him chase him with the mangy marauders. Ice wolves are still chasing our archers. Just clean up the remaining Norskin units and then Wolfric's desire to avoid a fight won't matter. So that worked out pretty well. Against Norska, I figured it would because Norska doesn't really have a great infantry answer. I mean, Marauder Berserkers would have been much better against what I threw here, but you see that my. My savage biggins with all that wah and here we go and everything else buffing them up. 
and I didn't even probably do it quite as efficiently as you could have, they were very effective, very effective at cutting down even armored Marauder Champions here, right? Because Marauder Champions are an armored unit, they're a tough unit, but didn't matter, just cut right through them. Even though the Savage Orcs are not necessarily an armor-piercing unit, it just, their weapon strength and their attack gets so high that armor or not, you're going to take a beating at the hands of these guys, and that was exactly what happened. We were able to control the flank flanks. I got pretty reckless with Wurzag and the Orc Shaman and stuff going after Wolfric, but I felt like we could, and it actually worked out somewhat okay in this case, though I could definitely see ways in which that could backfire at times. Um, if you all want to hang tight, uh, I'll just show you the replay real quick. I just got to go drop it in a file here. Hang on just a second. I know this should have been prepared ahead of time, but I totally forgot. So I reinstalled the game trying to fix a crash, and it actually didn't work um, where was it here East Britannia Beastmen I know it is right through here somewhere hit the date modified Isles versus green skin I think this is it let me um, drop this in the replay file here real quick and see if this one's it. I think it is. Carpet market. I think this is the one I wanted to show you all. No, no, no. Sorry. This is the uh, wrong one. My bad. Hold on. Let me exit out of that one. I know. Again, I should have had this prepared. Didn't. Maybe I didn't save it. Yeah. It looks like I didn't save it. So, let me show you all a... Um, different version of this. I guess I had just thought I had the replay. It was probably me re-watching an autosave and I forgot to save it. Let's go back. I just want to show you something real quick. Um, let's go into the custom battle. Pick the green skins again. Again, this won't be a perfect test by any means, but it's going to bring all these abilities. And I'm only going to bring Fist of Gork and here we go. And I'm going to put um, a high elf enemy over here. So let's go High Elves, and uh, I'm just going to put a Prince out there so they've got a Lord, and I'll even leave him, let him keep his abilities and stuff there too, just for the sake of, and watch what happens here. I'm going to get a couple of Swordmasters, so these are very dedicated anti-infantry, they have a bonus versus infantry, armor piercing, armored, they're shielded, very tough units, uh, their charge bonus isn't fantastic, but again, very tough units. Let's just kind of give you a demonstration here of what the WA and these uh, spells can do. Now what I'm going to do here though is I'm going to bring an Orc Shaman as well. Because I think that it probably depends on you having the Orc Shaman in the mix here. Helps you summon extra winds and continue to cast spells. So 84, 46 funds remaining. So yeah, a little difference here between these two. but. Just to demonstrate a purpose here, can these savage orc biggins crush their way through sword masters? And it's happened to me. Um, I watched it again to just make sure what the circumstances were, and it was really just the the lore of the big wa. Um, that was what it was making the difference. Spirit, let's go fight. Fast forward, AI is on defensive. Should have put them on a, I should have put them on offense, hopefully. And I should have picked a flat map, but this will work just for the sake of demonstration. Assuming the AI, yep, they're gonna counter charge me. Okay, we're gonna do what? Fist of Gork. Fist of Gork. And we're gonna watch my guys just start to absolutely own. Doing here we go. You can use Effigy to get with Wurzag. And look, look, what did I tell you? I should have pulled up the stat screen where you could see it, but it's because of all these buffs. I mean, if you just look at the damage that we're doing to the Swordmasters of Hoeth, no problem. 
going to cut our way through these guys. That prince was gone. Not a problem. And again, you can rotate these spells um, if you have enough wins here. But I don't even end up needing it. Look how badly I just beat down Swordmasters of Hoeth. And I mean badly. So trying to go up against the Greenskin Infantry line right now with the lore of the Big Wah seems like pretty much instant death for almost anybody because when we did our testing, the Swordmasters of Hoeth were easily on top of the charts for some of the best infantry, and there they just took a savage beatdown. Savage Orc beatdown, so do not underestimate this Savage Orc Big Wah combination right now. They seem to be very strong. So, anyway, hopefully that was informational for you. Air of Carthage signing out for now. I will see you all back soon with some more Total War Warhammer 2 action.